St. Mary's College, Biz Ed 123, Financial Management, Goldman Sachs, Team One, Take One, and Action. All right. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Eric. Uh, this is Nick and Max. We are evaluating Goldman Sachs stock. Uh, we recommend that you buy due to the intrinsic value being greater than the current price at a premium of 16.1%. So the overview of our presentation, uh, we're going to go over a variety of background topics for Goldman Sachs and we're going to move into uh, the actual financial rankings of Goldman Sachs along with some of the intrin intrinsic valuations, followed lastly by our uh, final recommendation. So the background of Goldman Sachs, um, the ticker is GS, it is a public company within the financial industry. Uh, founded by Marcus Goldman in 1869. Uh, currently, they serve all over the world. However, they're headquartered in Manhattan, New York. Uh, and currently, their total assets are right around 916.8 billion US dollars. So the company itself, kind of the culture that they're trying to build is uh, emphasized placing the client's interests first, as well as maintaining their integrity, uh, commitment to excellence and innovation, uh, and maintaining a culture based on teamwork. Uh, some of the leadership, so uh, currently the CEO is David Solomon. He's been with Goldman Sachs for 20 years. Uh, the president and CEO is someone by the name of John Waldron. He's been there for 19 years. Um, Richard Nude is the vice chairman. He's been with Goldman Sachs for 32 years, mainly overseas, especially in England. Uh, Lloyd C. Blankheim, he's been the chairman, uh, been with Goldman Sachs for 33 years now. Uh, Stephen Scher, uh, he is the executive vice president and CFO. He's been with Goldman Sachs for 25 years. And then Timothy J. O'Neill is the vice chairman. He's been with Goldman Sachs for 33 years. Um, and then some of their main products. So they are uh, into investment banking. So this is like mergers and acquisitions and such. Uh, also institutional client services. So this is when they're dealing with big clients such as like corporations, financial institutions, uh, governments, etc. Also investing and lending. Uh, these tend to be long term in nature. Uh, and then lastly, investment management, uh, where they're offering investment products across, across all major classes. Um, and then in terms of how much of these make up the total revenue, investment banking makes up 21% of Goldman Sachs total revenue, uh, investment management 18% of total revenue, institutional client services is also 18% of their total revenue, uh, and then lastly, investing and lending is 16%. Uh, also, their SWOT analysis, so some internal strengths. Uh, they are very reputable investors. Um, also, they take advantage of emerging markets and tend to be very innovative. Uh, also, some opportunities they have is focusing on emerging financial markets across the world, uh, also dealing with private equity account generation. Um, so, some weaknesses that are common. Uh, after the financial crisis, the culture is kind of eroding within Goldman Sachs. Also, there's consensus, <coughs> meaning uh, it's, it's kind of hard to get things done. That's a common complaint. Um, and then some threats that they uh, have to encounter is government regulation and increasingly high interest rates. Uh, moving on to the bank ranking, as you can see, Goldman Sachs is in the top five, but it is number five. You have JP Morgan at the top, then Bank of America, followed by City Bank, Wells Fargo, and Goldman Sachs with just 10% of the weight. Going forward with that, uh, it's financially pretty healthy, I like to find, uh, with the ROE, RA as good. Uh, the net interest margin, unfortunately, is below average, but for the asset turn to turnover ratio is good. So we overall rate it as good. Uh, for financial ratios, this is where it's kind of more average on basis because debt to equity is average. Uh, 4P slash E is good. Three-year growth revenue is good, but unfortunately, again, stock price change is below average, but overall low average out to a pretty good range. And lastly, for a technical analysis on this, uh, most of y'all will have the same, but it's generally a long-term upward trend, but recently there's a short-term downward trend. Um, as you can see, a little bit later on in recent times, the last few months, it's been going downwards, but we still find it's relatively healthy. Moving on to the valuations, starting in perpetuity. First, I want to emphasize that the intrinsic value is $237.50 to a current price, $204.65, yielding premium of 16.1%. We have a risk-free rate of 2.85% and an expected market return of 9%, with the cap M being 10%. Our expected market return, again, we used 9%, and we found the stock value to be 237.5, uh, yielding a medium range. For the Gordon growth, Again, we have a risk-free rate of 2.85%, uh, expected market rate of 9%, and the cap 
them is 10%. Um, for the intrinsic value, we found that it was 237.5, matching what we have at the top, yielding a medium range. For uh, price per earnings ratio, we used 11% as our ratio, yielding a present value of 237.5, matching our intrinsic value, and it's again a medium range. For our TCF, we had a weighted debt of 7%, weighted equity of 9.4%, and our R debt is 7% with our R equity is 9.5% with our weighted average cost of capital being 7.7. .7. And again, we use a discount rate of 9%, which yielded an intrinsic value of 237.5, matching our recommendation, and it yields a medium range, once again. For our weighted stock valuation, we used 5% weight for perpetuity, 5% for Gordon growth, 40% for the multiple, and 50% for the DCF, yielding a intrinsic value of 237.5, which we recommend you buy. All right, so finally our recommendation, uh, as Nick said, we recommend that you buy. Our intrinsic value is $237.50, which is greater than the current stock price of $204.70. Uh, this leaves us at a premium of 16.1%, uh, so we recommend the following 12 trades. So these were the sources or resources that we used in order to come up with this recommendation. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions?